Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. This dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom, right. but his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Well, with respect to Justin Gaethje and anyone else you want to throw in the mix, this is about as watchable a fighter as we have on the UFC roster, the former interim lightweight champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson is just nasty from the elbows that he lands on the feet to on the back, the submission ability that he possesses. One of the most diverse strikers in the UFC and with a college wrestling background, every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know that you have your hands full. And there's some fighters who just don't like training, right? Frank Mir would always say, I don't like to train. <laughs> Tony Ferguson loves to train. He'll go five or six hours hard. That's crazy. And from a work ethic standpoint, few guys are going to be able to match that. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Ferguson is nine years the elder. He is one inch taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Liverpool, England, Pony! The Pan and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. All right, folks, here we go with round one. This is not the Eddie Bravo Invitational. This is the UFC and two of the more decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts we have in this or any division. Yes, in any division. We've never seen guys that can really incorporate the jiu-jitsu into fighting as we've seen this two do. But who's gonna make a mistake? Who's gonna leave an arm out there to get grabbed? Who's gonna leave their neck out? Let's see when you put two great jiu-jitsu players together who can get their hand raised in the octagon. has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Oh, nice. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this. Nicely done. Ferguson's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He's having his way with him here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Ferguson. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh man, that was slick. Down into his mouth. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Dig and kick. Nice connection there by Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had to prepare for a fighter like this in your day. I've never seen anything like that, and I'm not sure there's anyone like that going up in the weights. Tony Ferguson, beautiful takedown land. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, he's more than content to work off of it. His opponent better react right now before it's too late. He's going to start to attack the triangle choke. fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Ferguson. Oh, right in the mouth. 90 seconds and counting in round two. I mean, how many can he take? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Yeah, you've got to admire the 
focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.